Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message for today and I just wanted to talk about how as a community of people who are bringing love to this world, I just wanted to really address something that's been bothering me. I I see this a lot. It seems like people are trying to exclude each other either through um offering some sort of special program that you can join but there's only limited spaces available and if you don't join now then oh my god and you can't get you know you you'll lose a space and then you can never join again and all that or you know again with the classic kind of there's only 144000 spaces of um twin flames that can come into union in this life and i just don't get it i do not i i it just gets on my nerves so much it's like why why do people do this why why do people feel the need to exclude i just want to help you to break away from limiting thinking from thinking that um you know abundance is limited success is limited um everything is a competition we we're basically at this very cutthroat kind of um dynamic it's terrible and i'm putting this video out there because i want to break that i i don't want people to feel scared that they're going to be missing out i remember when i first heard of this thing called the event and it freaked me out i thought because i i was in the um <clears throat> old mindsets of what was taught in Sunday school. <laughs> Terrible idea. Um, yeah, where they said that unless you repent and, you know, do all this, basically it was uh, religion, um, then you're not going to go to heaven. And, you know, it's like, wow, okay, that's cruel. So then the event caused me to have those triggering feelings of exclusion again and I worked through that and I thought no 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 this is not right this is doesn't feel good a reason why something doesn't feel good is because it triggers a fear-based belief and fear-based is not your truth because if it was your truth you'd be feeling okay with it you'd be feeling accepting of it but if your heart rejects it your body feels rejecting of it um then it's it's not your truth and it's not something that you should willingly just go along with so I turned that around and I said of course I'm worthy and of course if anything's going to be taking place not that I necessarily believe everything people are putting out there <clears throat> excuse me but if ever, anything's going to be taking place I am included I am important I matter and I count and so then there's just more things like even today I saw this video just on my feed and it said something like um special things are coming up so I thought okay well I'll have a quick look at it and see what this person has to say but then he was like oh um unless you you know if you don't want to come into union fine don't go in my program but if you do then there's only limited amount of space available oh my god why why are we doing this and I remember when I first saw, one of the first Twin Flame videos I ever saw was this lady talking about a numbers um, thing where she said, there's only one four four thousand that's going to come into union. There's only one four four thousand Twin Flames. I'm thinking, really? Out of the billions of people on this planet? And yes, um, you know, not... The, the twin flame community isn't as as large as your other kind of communities but still to limit it to 144000 i don't get it i i just i don't understand this scarcity thinking this there's only limited space for this and there's only limited thing for that i don't get it i really don't and it makes me unhappy for other people too, who like me were in this place of, am I going to be excluded? Because <clears throat> it's not nice to think that. If you've had issues throughout your entire life where 
you've been rejected from things because you're different and now you're being excluded from something you felt a part of. That's truly awful. So I'm putting this video out there because I want people to feel welcome. I want people to feel included. I want people to know that they matter and that there is no scarcity, that everything is energy and if, if we want something to be more, then we will have more of that. You know, it's like with people how they've been about money, thinking that it's a competition and you need to climb over each other to, to get where you want to be and backstabbing and, you know, all of this tricking and stealing and lying and there's no need. There's no need. If you understand that you are a powerful manifester and that is what you are as a natural, you know, you strip away all your ego and all of the limiting beliefs, you are a powerful manifester. That is a reflection of this universe, is to create more. And if you want to create more wealth and, and good things and happiness for others and good vibes all around, you're going to create more of that. Now, why why do we need to limit everything? I really don't understand. And it makes me quite frustrated. So I'm putting this video out there to help you challenge whenever anything like that comes up. <clears throat> excuse me. If this video resonates for you and it makes you feel like, yeah, I shouldn't just accept that I may not be included in this or this, or that this is not for me just because someone else's opinion. Because as I've said quite a few times now, your heart is the best lie detector there is. And if you feel something is not true, you're not going to resonate with it. It's not going to feel good to you. Then challenge that belief and look into it. Don't feel scared of it. Just go, okay, what is it that I have to look at here? What is it that I have to challenge myself on and have to overcome? And you will see with a calm mind what that is. But let's stop excluding ourselves. Let's stop making this a cutthroat kind of, oh, only a certain amount of people are allowed to come into union and there's only a certain amount of help available for people. I mean, I, I wouldn't exclude somebody and if they wanted my help. I wouldn't say, oh, no, I've only got six places available, my special little um, graduation thing, and you're not allowed to be part of it. Like, what? Why? If you come to me with the purest of intentions of I just want to help myself and I feel that you can help me, then I have room for you. And I want everyone to have room for each other. I just don't get this cutthroat competition kind of energy you know people turning against each other for the belief that there's only limited things available I mean that's so bad it really is but anyway I'm just hoping that this video has encouraged you to think and to challenge beliefs and other people's opinions when they don't man um, when they don't resonate with you and if you'd like to connect with me all my details are in the description i thank you all so very much for watching let's spread more love and positivity inclusiveness you know i'm sure many of us have already been through a life of i don't feel included in this and i've always felt like an outsider let's make it something nice now that we've finally found some sort of thing that we can be a part of let's make it inclusive so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.